Mishra Marav Rabotai. Good morning to everybody. Another beautiful, gorgeous day. We just finished with Parshat Bereshit. Everybody knows the story of Adam and Hava. Even the non-Jews, you could stop on the street, they will tell you the story of Adam and Hava. Hashem commanded, gave one command to Adam, not to eat from the tree. So eventually, it happens to be that he transgressed it. Hava gave him to eat from the tree. He ate from the tree and Hashem was very upset. So Hashem cursed punishment to the snake because snake was involved in it. And the woman got also, Hava also got punished in it. And the last punishment was given to Adam Arishon. Hashem told Adam, if you look in the chapter 3, Pasuk 19, Hashem was very upset at Adam. From the dust you came to the dust you will go back. You're going to work hard all your life with the sweat of your brows to make a living until you return to the, to the dust. At that point, normal person would be upset, stressed out, depressed, uh, feel very unfulfilled, unaccomplished. What's the next, when Adam received the curse, what's the next thing he said? If you look at in the past, chapter 3, Pasuk 20, Adam said to his wife Hava, he named her Hava from the word of Haya. You are a mother of all the living beings. You are the mother of the future world. Instead of Adam being angry at her, she got him to this mess and taking revenge on her or being upset at her, calling nicknames, making fun, or just getting to fight with her. He was smart enough, Adam Rishon. He made a peace. He said, you're going to be, I'm going to name you Hava. You're gonna, you are the mother of all the living beings. You're not a murderer of all the future because you shorten everybody's life. You're not a bad person. He didn't say you're a bad woman because of you, all the other women in the future will suffer because when they're going to give birth, they have to go through the pain of giving birth. That was the, the curse for the woman. He didn't even mention it because Adam and Rishon was very smart. Adam and Hava in our history were the only couple that they had the longest marriage in the, on the planet Earth. The longest marriage. The longest uh, Adam lived 930, Hava lived 970. And they never came back to the conversation. Oh, because of you, you know? We are punished. We are thrown out of Gan Eden because of you. All other women have to suffer because of you. And we have to work hard to make money, make a living go because of you. And we have to work hard for all the bills because of you. They felt it's not important. Certain things in life, it's not important. We put so much emphasis, we put so much energy and effort into nonsense fighting and going back to the past oh you know what you said a year ago you know what you did a month ago 20 years ago 30 years ago your mom said something your dad said something your father said something Th those are, it's not important what is that conversation going to lead into a fight or argument and if adam wasn't smart enough if he would just fight her and argue her they would separate that would be the end of all the living beings there'll be no future no continuation of humanity adam was smart Chokhmah. Rabotai. Now we understand that's the first thing we ask from Hashem in Shmona Esra. Chokhmah. The first thing we ask from Hashem in Shmona Esra. Atah honel adam da'ad. Chokhmah bina da'ad. Gimme chokhmah bina da'ad. Wisdom, knowledge, understanding. And Hashem give us wisdom, knowledge, understanding not to trick someone, not to outsmart someone, not to fight someone. To be smart, not to get into argument. Because not to get into argument, you need chokhmah bina da'ad. It's so easy to get to fight, to, to, into a fight. It's easy to get into argument. We ask Hashem, that's the first thing. Atah honel adam da gimi chokhman, knowledge. To hold myself back, not to say certain things, and not to go back to past conversation. Because we put so much in our life going past. What we did, what we said, and we keep on reminding. Oh, you know, remember, remember what you did? And we know very well each other's weak points. We know very well. But it doesn't lead anything good. And I'll tell you something even more. Adam's children, they didn't even know the story of the parents eating that they were commanded not to eat from the tree and they transgressed because they felt it's not important. Adam understood he was very mature enough not to tell his kids, you know, it's all because of your mom ate from the tree. She made me eat from the tree. I trust her hashgach. I, try, I trust your mother's kashrut. I didn't know she's going to give me the fruit from that tree. And Hava also never brought it down to the kids. You know, your father didn't have enough brains. He listened to me. He fell for it. The kids never knew about it. There's many things the kids don't have to know. It's like uh, someone I know, young guy, 
he doesn't uh, he doesn't have respect for his grandfather. He lo all of a sudden out of nowhere he lost respect for his grandfather. So I said, what happened? You were so close to your grandfather. You had so much respect and love. And during the Kohanim, when your father was not around, when the Kohanim were giving blessings, you'd go to your grandfather to get the bracha. His grandfather from his father's side. He tells, I want to tell you something. My mother recently told me that my grandfather from my father's side, he was in prison for two years in Russia. He must be a bad person. That's what my mom told me. The mother, the woman said about her father-in-law. I'm, I'm sure she didn't have such a bad intentions. Maybe she didn't express herself well. But he was, the uh, grandfather was in prison because due to the Judaism. He was practicing religion. But she didn't finish that. I guess she didn't say that. When I spoke, and I spoke to that lady. The child got a wrong impression. He told his father, is, his, fa his grandfather is a murderer. He's a criminal. Rabotai, certain things kids don't have to know. And we don't have to go back into the past. We spend too much time going to the past and the past. Well, you know what happened. You know what you did. You, what you, it's done. It's gone. It's like one neighbor comes over to his neighbor. During the winter, heavy snow. We had a lot of snow this year, Baruch Hashem. It was a big bracha. So he comes to his neighbor. Can I borrow your shower? I went to The guy went to the store. He couldn't find showers. It's all sold out. There's nothing there. And the only shower that he had broke. So he goes to his neighbor. Can I borrow your shower? The neighbor goes, no. Remember... 14 years ago, I asked you for a shower. You said no, not now. Let me finish everything, then I'll give you.